So with the original Toy Story, I guess they were, I don't know, afraid to show adults and you know, the humans uh, because they couldn't animate them. Uh, and it looks like that there is some sort of focus on the humans here in, in, in yeah. this one. Uh, uh, I guess the quality is better now. You can do it, I guess. Yeah, I mean, there's been really um, remarkable advances in the technology for, um, you know, the, the models are really awesome. We have, you know, ever since Incredibles, really, the, just like the skin tone and the amount of fleshiness. I think that's like you were talking about the Uncanny Valley, and that's the, it's this fine line, you know, where you have caricature and, and reality. Um, whereas the toys, you don't have to worry about that, which is so fun. I, I love animating the toys because you didn't have to make it look or feel like a real person. You, you were really free to kind of have this this toy come alive, and, and it didn't have to be like it didn't have to be realistic. It could be fun and cartoony. Yeah, and for us on the game side, I mean, this is the first time you know with the 360 and the PS3, the graphics can actually match or get very close to the quality of the movie, and so we had to make some technology changes as well, as, as, as they have too. I mean, you see the rendering and the lighting quality just keeps coming up and the, even in the Pixar movie, it was an awesome scene. That first scene was great. I mean, when the, when the, uh, the big mushroom cloud of monkeys and stuff, I mean, that's just so damn cool. And, and we're actually able to bring some of that quality into the game. And so we've been really excited because we, our shaders and our lighting and, and all that fine detail and, and sto even storytelling and art is actually in the game as well. So it was, it was an exciting process for us.